Scorpion 72. Um, you probably thought that I don't know that I gone away or something. I know it's been about a month, so I've been much been enjoying life, uh, collecting stuff, rearranging things, kind of stuff like that. Um, I should give you a little sneak peek of what I've been doing and why I haven't seen much videos. Number one, number two, I've lost stuff and I just try to find the time to pick it all up and I can do reviews like just to say like I'm kind of backlogged but you will see them which just means you probably see like a new one every day in the next uh, coming uh, week or two. Um, just getting around to that. I think I have eyelash in my eye. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying your uh, holidays. I know it's kind of over now, we're in February. Just saw a Deadpool movie. See the Deadpool movie! But, on the other hand, um, just for people, so you know, like parents, it's R-rated. Don't bring your kids. It's R-rated for a reason. Like, hello? You can't blame the studios for that. They put the rating on. If you bring 10 or 5 year olds to this movie, it's on you. Don't blame Fox. Don't blame Ryan Reynolds. Don't blame anybody. But anyways, the movie is really enjoyable. So it's a kickoff of um, a movie that really is proven that, you know, if you, kind of, if you stay true to a comic book form and I guess in this way give people what they want and, uh, and make it enjoyable, it works. Because, hey, the support was there. This thing has been breaking records all over the place. Um, one of the things that I think, oh, Toy Fair, I've been watching that and stuff, because, as you know, this video is coming out to the Toy Fair, and, yeah, wow, like, DC Collectibles, their icon stuff, and just, Harley Quinn, I hope they don't overload too much on that, I know she's gonna be popular when Suicide Squad comes out, oh, I hope that does as well as Deadpool, or even better, because, if not, it's gonna be a little too much Harley Quinn overload, because, really, there's, there's no lack of Harley Quinn statue, action figures, merchandise, nothing like that. You'll be able to find it. Um, of course, you have the other movies, you know, Batman vs. Superman. The last trailer was just crazy. Especially that last shot with, like, uh, super, look in Superman's face when Batman stopped his punch. That was crazy. And, uh, of course, Civil War. Um, one of the things that I pretty much have decided is not to really indulge and go too much in Marvel. Um, reason for that is I was a big time Marvel collector for Marvel Legends and I've really, plain and simple, put you simple, I sold my stuff, a lot of my stuff, and I tried to get back into Marvel Legends and stuff, and then couldn't, and then like, it, it just like lacks. And now they're really coming up with some really great stuff, so don't get me wrong, Hasbro's doing a crazy, crazy ass job of getting stuff out there. Um, I'm just finding like it's just a little too much. I have to really decide where I want to get. I'm really going for a lot of import stuff, Dragon Ball Z, and um, some of the other like you know Super Mario Brothers. I'm hoping that NECA continues their uh, Mortal Kombat line because they're doing the best job on any Mortal Kombat on the Mortal Kombat figures I've seen to date. So hopefully you guys are still doing that because it really suck after two waves. Like it'll be nice to get a full roster. But then there's another group. Of a sort of group, a company that's um, actually doing like Goro. So I'm gonna get Goro, and they're doing some classic characters. So maybe they're the ones that continue the more combat. Who knows? But um, other than that, uh, yeah, a little cool, lots of cool stuff coming down the year this year, um, and it'll be really great. It's gonna be a good toy year, and Coach Torture just finished, and. Then they're going to have some more stuff in about, what, four or five months. You're going to have San Diego Comic Con where they're going to show you even more. Hopefully. Um, everybody's been strong and showing more. Hopefully DC Collectibles, that's why I'm talking to you, show a little bit more this time at uh, San Diego Comic Con because all the stuff you show were great, but the thing I'm really kind of disappointed was that the TV figures, like a two-pack of Arrow and Flash, and that was it. Where's the other characters? Flash is really big on TV. Where his support characters and our villains or whatever. 
And same thing goes for Arrow and, you know, we're Supergirl, something like that. Because Supergirl seems to be picking up steam. I am, I am enjoying that show too. So I'm really thrown off why I didn't show anything like that. So, um, yeah, uh, back to what I was saying. You know what? Let's give a quick little rough tour of my tour room. I say it's rough because it's not finished. So don't be sending me complaints saying, why is this not finished? I can't do this, can't see this, blah, 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 blah. It's a rough look of what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks in my place. And hey, thanks for watching um, the collaboration with me and my good friend there, Robert there, Plastic Junkie. Um, check out his stuff. He's doing pretty great. He has over a thousand subscribers, so he's pretty cool. Been a long time friend of mine uh, for since we've been doing shows. That's another thing too. The reason why you haven't seen me in a while is that I had a lot. I had like two shows, uh, toy shows, They're pretty much back to back. Like one weekend and then the next weekend, I have two shows back to back. So yes, I do do toy shows. So a lot of you have seen me there and talked to me there at the shows and stuff like that. As they sell like um, extra stuff and toys I want to get rid of and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I've been truly, truly busy. Um, not saying it's an excuse, it's just that's how things work. And hey, you know, I'll get to where I do my reviews when I can get to them, when I have stuff to review. I am going to be reviewing a lot of Batman type orientated stuff leading up to the Batman movie. Um, one that I'm aiming for is the bat signal that I have from like DC Direct back in the day. So it's, that should be interesting and other kind of stuff that I can find. Maybe I might do like a whole movie slew of Batmobiles and stuff like that. Anyways, I know I'm rambling. That's the thing. I ramble a lot sometimes, but hey, I, I like to talk. <laughs> um, so hey, let's give you a tour of uh, my toy room and what I'm doing in there and what I'm aiming for and stuff. And hope you like it. So let's go. Aniva. So as I was saying, my toy room consists of a lot of combined stuff that I've been doing and working on. Um, we just go walk right through it. Right. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna edit. We'll see. But hey, here we go. So this is something I built like about almost five years ago. It's like the outside kind of like. Uh, warehouse type thing so I'll show you the warehouse right away so the warehouse insists I know some figures turn around um, a lot of wooden areas and stuff like that and here we have inside you know I have the door it's a toilet in the corner yeah I got toilet the, um, wrestling things that have those packs with like mattresses and stuff and toilets that had toilets and breakaway uh, tables as well as other stuff, there's a little vending machine that you have here, a few drums, um, the garbage containers that's supposed to be in there. You have the desk and like you know the main boss's area and like little stacks of uh, money and like packages of like makeshift like you know toy uh, contraband, cocaine type thing. That's courtesy of um, Go Figure. Go figure, dioramas and stuff, do those things. Um, over here we have like my rooftop section. There's a little real figure I have hanging on the wall. So rooftop section. Um, these grates here are the balconies are courtesy of when they had the Shatari army from um, the first Avengers movie. Lower down we have here a little desk from I got from a uh, can't remember exact location but it's overseas Chinese store or Chinese um, um, import. Uh, don't really fit the figures as well as I thought they would, but I thought it'd be cool. Then of course you have here their Dairy Queen head. They have like Mary Jane from uh, the second movie I believe, Spider Man, where you can build like a whacked out Venom <laughs> from the movie. And here we have my little like spaceship type thing. They have from like um um oh is it uh yeah, asylum there, like asylum or something like that. They did like a whole Star Trek type thing, like bridges. There's only one that didn't come out that I didn't get. But yeah. Um lower here we have I keep a lot of cardboard. The cardboard art is really nice from like figures. I think this is one from a Star Wars uh, vehicle or something. I'll keep it used as a diorama. 
Uh, moving on here is my rooftop set. And then you can see I have some of the icons as well as the bat signal right here from um, the last Batman movie there, Dark Knight Rises. Um, over here, you've probably seen some of my previous videos, is my He-Man Masters of the Universe Classics Collection. You can see all of them. So here I have like the final battle type reposition, our reputation. <laughs> Um, here we go into like all the horde members. Um, here we have like pre Eternia slash um, predecessor to what happened before He Man came about. Here I have a few of them still on card. Over here we have like the future of the royal family. You know, King He Man, Tila as the sorceress, and there. Um, oh, over here. So another part I'm working on. I'm gonna show you all this one and finish it, but I'll just showing you what I'm working on briefly. There, that's the, that uh, throne. There is another thing of go figure that they did. Um, back to He Man. I'm just switching back and forth here. Let me focus on the He Man because He Man is mostly concentrating in this section, except for the ultimate battle that I have um, with the Castle Great Skull. Yeah, Gradimir. Uh, you can kind of see in there. Here he is. I like the way I did this set there and the episode from the Thor movie. It's very hard to come by these days if you didn't get the Diamond Select part. And there you go, more events. They have the future, the Avengers, and then random variants and stuff like that. Um, over here I have, yes, the creme de la creme. Me and my brother always won this as a child. I got around to it. I got this about, I think it's three years now. G.I. Joe USS Flag. And it's amazing all the stuff you can ignore the horse. The horse not really supposed to be there, but it's just cool that how many ships you can hold on here. There you have the Quinjet, the X Men Jet. I have another X Men Jet here, which I have to take back out. There you have the thing from the Superman movie. Uh, another He Man thing there, Talon Fire and Point Dread. It's really, really huge. I have to put it on this thing. I made it like this part was water. A few dinosaurs I'm gonna put in a certain section here. Quizar there, yes. Watchtower. And up here, um, some of you may know this Balkan Rock. I'm gonna try to show from a different angle. This is Power Lords. This vehicle I got from Woolworths. I don't know if any of you guys remember Woolworths. Remember come across it. It was missing about three to five pieces at the time, but it's really cheap. I got it. I still have it. Um, a lot of pieces have broken off here and there from it, but it's still it's one of my main bad guy bases that I would use for like Cobra or anybody, even Dark Side. So I I have that still intact. Um, here we have like a Roman type saying this is from go figure oh the lights really glaring off this one here so it's kind of hard to see from this angle so I'm trying to get like an angle it's really bright wow normally it's not supposed to be this bright give me one second there we go that's better now you can actually see the detail of this go figure diorama piece which is really really nice love it Actually, the camera looks out better. Actually. This is one of my most traveled possessions, and I'm very proud of this. It's my Fortress of Solitude. So, I built this, I forgot how many years ago, and I just keep adding to it. And it just, it's just lovely. These, one day I'll show you how this all lights up. Because these pillars actually light up blue. I'll give you an example. So basically by clicking the switch here, it gives off this blue type look to it. And when you really, 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 really have all of them put together, all lit up, it's really nice. Actually, let's give you a shot of that. Voila! So this is what it looks like when I just have just the lights on it. Basically, Fortress of Tall Solitude. All nicely lit up. A little 
gadgets here, kind of representing like the Superman from like you know the first movie and uh, Superman 2. And here you have a few things in there. Let's give you an aerial shot of this. And there we go. And look at that. It just you see how this thing just looks with these like really nice lights here that I've had. Funny, funny story is these lights came from like some party. They were giving out these like glow type like foam type things with switches in there, and you can actually change the battery. So I kept some of them, and right away I said, you know what? These will come in handy if to go right into my Fortress of Solitude, and they look amazing. All right, so uh, let's turn off these little lights here and move along so the next thing I'm working on why is this not like oh it's switching around I think I have here a classic library from Buffy the Vampire Slayer which is very I think it's hard to find I don't really see much of these out in the wild it's a great great diorama piece I have to say one of the only places that's ever made for Buffy and yeah it's well worth it I'm glad I got it um then we get over here to where I have the X-Men's gate to Xavier's school. I had it here just for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, the other thing is we have the firehouse, which is I've never had a complete firehouse for as long as I like Ghostbusters. But hey, they still come in handy. Um, I have the roadster in there from cops for those of you remember and here's one of the favorite parts of uh, Orko the Great um, Big He-Man collector. He loves this setup and so do I. It's basically the turtles lair setup. Now I have the turtles lair set up like this and you see it's the original first turtles lair or the the turtles lair. Then I have the pipe leading down here into like some kind of water type thing and yes I have the Delta Probe 1 there and the reason why I have the Delta Probe 1 is because technically I was going to make this like the underground place for like uh, Teen Titans so this is the uh, Turtles um, play set number 2 I believe I forgot from what series it is really sorry for that um, yeah, you can see Scott and Warriors Sky Bike there which I'm planning to use for my Lobo figure from DC Universe uh, classic figures and they have the furnace there from Freddy just beyond the bag uh, okay back to Turtles Lair so as I showed you it has there going there but the thing that's really cool um, is that I have it linked up to the new Turtles Lair that came out about a year or two ago from Playmates and then you know have a little setup there that's pretty cool I like this lair so I'm going to be setting this up with a few figures and stuff and dioramas and key pieces like that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, there's more. So let's fast forward here. So this cabinet here houses a backup a bit. So you can get the idea of like, so it's like a tower like Gotham. So you can see all the like Gotham influences there. And then inside, uh, it's where things are really really cool and let's see if I get it on so what I have here is like Lex Luthor's uh, type of office let me see if I can get some more light in this section hold on one second it appears my light burned out crap so anyways I'll give you this little sneak peek anyways this is like a work in progress as I told you in the beginning so as you can see, Lex Luthor's office here has some chairs, his desk where he sits at, and behind here is like a secret door showing you his power suit. Um, lower level here has actually like some experiments gone wrong, some cancer cases. These came from like the X-File figures from McFarlane, which came in really handy. I'm just going to show you another shot of Luthor's office and stuff. Down below is one of my favorite part. And you see Superboy still in the chamber. There's like a laboratory here and everything. Where they do it they like keep the people in um what you call calling Cairo Cairo chambers and stuff like that, building superhumans or whatever. And down below 
I guess you can pretty much say this is like Wayne Manor. Like the the the, the main part, not the main part, but like um, the living room part of Wayne Manor is what I'm aiming for for this part here with the fireplace and the two chairs and stuff. So it should be really cool. Um, down below in this little section, Teletron 1, which I was thinking of building Justice League headquarters, or at least having a Justice League uh, computer console. So you see, I can I made a table that have sick bay and everything. That's everything from Teletron One from Transformers. Um, I forgot the name of the G something. It's one of those third company party companies that did this thing. Um, it was very problematic to put together because I didn't hold so kind of glue it together but it's really neat it's just very orange <laughs> and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that uh, even if I'm gonna keep it nevertheless so that leads me to my creme de la creme uh, oh this thing's not closing and there you go creme de la creme is the Bat Cave. As I showed you in some of the beginning of my videos, here we have the Bat Cave. So I have like the icebreaker over there, another gyrocopter here. There's the Bat Wing that they reuse as um, it was a Silverhawks jet. Uh, what else do we have here? Here's the Bat. Here's another Fire Bat type jet. Um, Backcopter remodeled after the superpowered backcopter, um, a one man copter underneath there. You all pretty much know what that is. <laughs> that is a Batman Beyond vehicle. It may seem like um, Bruce Wayne is working on that way before he stopped being Batman. Um, they have a one bat wing that changes his two in one, which comes out of um, ground vehicle as well as a glider. They have the first bat the wing that I have. And they have more bat vehicles here as you can see um, the one in the far back is the customs of the Robocop vehicle cop car uh, not sure you can see that one there so that one I made and then this one here I washed well, it I painted and these ones you recognize then you have more of the movie ones down here except for that one here the red and black one and then you have another one that's a bat missile batmobile and then you have uh, the tumbler again this one is like an ATV this one actually goes up on the hind legs so it goes even higher than this which is really cool I saw it they allow you to test it out in the store I got from like sellers and I picked it up and you have the bat cycle and um, sorry the lighting is not that great here you want the other lighting bat cycle and then after you have the Batmobile that came in the cocoon. That's when the first 1989 Michael Keaton Batmo Batman movie came out. They have some more bat cycles out here. And they have the other bat. There's another Batmobile. This one here, actually, down here in the, um, in the little crevice there. That's the one that has a missile firing. It has the guns on the ports that actually come out on the sides, like when you're busting into Joker's lair. Then you have the animated series one. And um, here's another anime series one. Then you have the bat, like a ski boat, the Batman Returns boat. Let me go up higher so you can see some of this stuff. Like I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown stuff. There's a bat wing on the side. And yeah, so just a little rundown of how I've been doing my bat cave. Alfred fell down. Uh, that where it's pretty cool. You see, I have Jason Saw's uh, suit there, and over there I have the gun that killed his parents. Then you have here dinosaur, uh, some more stuff from Batman gadgets and all this stuff. Training room, him making improving the suits, and here is kind of like a retro type thing because you have like you know 1966 Batmobile updated type version of that. And there you have like, you know, even the robot. And there you go. And you have the new Batmobile. 
should have beat you on also on the one from the video game. All leading up to what you'll see behind me. We have the X-Wing, Large X-Wing, Millennium Falcon, and they see my DC Universe figures. So the top shelf consists of like superpower type figures that were supposed to be done and have been done in the in DC Universe Classics type style. Um, the low level is the rest of them. It's pretty neat. Down below, I have where I'm going to be putting my animated series Batman figures. And of course, I have another level here which I'm working on, which is going to be DC uh, Collectibles, DC Direct. I have mean, just Perry White right now on my uh, our own stuff figures. So that's just a quarter of my collection as I shift things around and uh, rearrange things. There'll be a lot more uh, stuff coming up, a lot more reviews and everything, of course, as I get more things. And yeah, I'm still here. I'm still going to keep going because I really enjoy this. It's a collection. It's a hobby. It's a habit. It's an addiction, but it's a good addiction. It's a healthy addiction. As long as you keep it relevant and hey, you enjoy other things in life too, but hey, toys, especially after this um, toy fair, wow, crazy, crazy stuff coming up. So uh, save your pennies because you're going to need them. Scorpion 72, telling you to, of course, enjoy your toys. And until next time, keep playing. Ciao.